Hey, Dom Jack Guru here with a quick guide for beating the final boss in a Plague Tale Innocence. Uh, this first section, you just play it conservatively, gather some stuff, and focus on fighting off rat nados and shutting off all of their fire pots. I really thought that rat nado was closer than it was. Uh, oh, there it is. So just. If one's getting close, just drop a ratinado at your feet. You should be fine. See? Uh, I tend to throw instead of using the sling to get the fire going. Uh, sorry, the fire put out. Uh, because if you try to throw it directly, every now and then a ratinado can pop up in front of you. And it will just eat your uh, fire dousing shot. The direct firing of the... Sling actually puts it in a disadvantage for dealing with these things. You want to go with that high arc. Uh, make sure you've got 10 ought to do it for this. Because all you're going to need is 10 to put out the, all the fires in the level. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, and, of course, your rats to fight off his rats. All right. So I'm just going to fast forward till we get to the Rat Pope duel. Because by this point, you should be pretty familiar with all these mechanics. All right, now for the duel with the Rat Pope. Uh, for here, the key is just get as far away from center as possible. Because when he calls his rats back, they can get in the way of your rats, and then you're kind of in trouble. So wave one, he's just going to make two rat towers. Make them fall way off to the left. Or right, your choice. Send your rats to attack, and then get your sling ready. Now, at this point, I get way off to the right. Oh, I uh, I massively over-prepped my sling, so I missed badly. Uh, if you do something that dumb, you just, there's time for a second shot. All right, so, once again, get way off into this corner. Uh, you want to have a no-fire ready. The second it starts to drop, run out of the way. He's going to do tower. And he's going to do rat. Explosion, rat, ooh, rat cano. I like rat cano. Uh, then, his course, he's going to do another rat cano. And once you're here, put that out. And you're good. That's wave two. Uh, now we're up to wave three, which is the only wave that sucks. Uh, when I first beat this game, I did wave three like ten times. You know, I had to learn how to beat the uh, the first two waves, but then I could do that consistently every time, and then wave three just killed me over and over again. It's kind of frustrating, but bear with me. So, uh, oh, and I think he drops two fire pots, so be ready for that. So it's going to be, I believe, tower, tower, rat, uh, rat, cano. So that's tower, or maybe tower, rat, cano. Okay. Tower, rat, cano. All right, now he's going to do another tower, I think. Yeah. All right, so run out of the way of that tower. Run all the way across. As he does another rat cano. Get out of the way of the rat cano. Here comes another tower, and you're good. As you can see, it's frustrating, and he does drop two. But, as I say... As long as you remember that pa uh, that pattern, do the get past three of them, run to the other side, get past two of them, you should be good. Uh, so yeah, just uh, wang him in the head with one last stone, and you're done. Game over. Uh, if you're having trouble with this last boss, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you need help with any of the other trophies or achievements in the game, I've got videos for most of them up on the playlist. And I'll see you back here for more A Plague Tale Innocence, but until then, I'm going to say... Like the Rat Pope, au revoir.